<laughs> Yo! How about that room ambience? This is the sound of a room that was just abandoned by a person who couldn't pay their rent and left in the middle of the night. All right, folks. I got my uh, Oscar preview, caster vote, whatever bullshit here. And I'm gonna go over all of them, or most of them with you, and give you what I think will win and what I think should win. Okay, very simple. All right. Best picture. Call Me By Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I think what's gonna win? Hmm, what's the most boring and safe and forgettable within six months time? The Post. The Post is gonna win because it's Spielberg. I feel like there's already been jokes about like, give them the Oscar, we already know who's gonna win. I think that one's gonna win. I think Lady Bird actually has a good chance of winning as well. I thought Lady Bird was okay. I liked it, didn't love it. I mean, I guess it was kind of a little bit in one ear out the other. What should win? Well, if we're talking about just what's on this list, I think out of all those movies I just listed, I would say Call Me By Your Name is probably the best movie out of all those. Three Billboards was also very good. Um, I was kind of baffled by Phantom Thread. What should win though, that's not on here, you guys already know, say it with me. Good time, come on. Best movie of the year, I'm not budging. Okay, lead actor. Timothy Chalamet, call me by your name. Daniel Day-Lewis, Phantom Thread. Daniel Kaluuya, Get Out. Gary Oldman in Darkness Hour, Darkest Hour, Denzel Washington in Roman J. Israel Esquire. I don't even know what the hell that is. I want to say... Well, one thing to consider is that Daniel Day-Lewis, as far as I know, has never won. This may even be his first nomination, maybe. Probably should have done some research here. I think it's going to either Gary Oldman or... Daniel Day-Lewis. I think a possible upset would be Timothy Chalamet. And honestly, I would probably go with that one, personally. <clears throat> Except for Robert Pattinson in Good Time was sensational, but I digress. Supporting actor. Oh, this one I know who I want to win. This one's easy. Supporting actor, William Defoe, The Florida Project. Woody Harrelson, Three Billboards. Richard Jenkins, The Shape of Water. Christopher Plummer, All the Money in the World. Sam Rockwell, Three Billboards. I think Sam Rockwell is going to win. Um, but I take William Defoe because he was possibly the best part out of the Florida Project, which was a great movie. Um, so that's my pick. Leading actress, Sally Hawkins in The Shape of Water. Frances McDormand in Three Billboards. Margot Robbie in I, Tanya. Sarah's running in Lady Bird and Meryl Streep in The Post. They're gonna give it to Mel Meryl Streep. I mean, this is so, so disappointing. Either that or um, if it's not her, it will definitely be Frances McDormand. I think Margot Robbie is the upset and as much as I loved Frances McDormand in Three Billboards, I have to admit, I love her, she's been in so many great movies, but for some reason this time around it just kind of felt like you kind of already knew what type of character she was going to play and how she was going to play it, so it wasn't very surprising even though it was good and consi consistent, it just wasn't, um, it didn't, you know, upend my expectations, for example. But, uh, there was a lot of buzz about Margot Robbie and I, Tonya, I just saw it the other night, I thought the movie itself was okay, but, um, she, I have to admit, definitely turned in a great performance in that movie. So uh, I would give it to her if it were my choice. Okay, moving on. Supporting actress. Just, I don't know. Give it to Octavia Spencer or some shit. It's either that or Allison Janney. I think she's definitely going to win just because her performance in I, Tony is just so over the top and just crass. And I don't know. At certain times, I thought that character in particular, as well as... Parts of the movie were very sort of uh, stereotypical and cliched. 
Um, but then you also got Leslie Manville in Phantom Thread. She was quite easily the best part of that movie. So, my vote's going to her. Okay, animated feature, Boss Baby, done. Okay, no, seriously, I'm not reading that wrong. Boss Baby. The Breadwinner, Coco, Ferdinand, Loving Vincent. Um, you know, Loving Vincent is a step forward in the history of cinema. Uh, probably Coco's gonna win. Uh, who fucking cares? Cinematography, Blade Runner 2049, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Mudbound, and The Shape of Water. I'm giving it to Blade Runner. I thought the, uh, the visuals of that movie were just stunning. They really were, they're great. Um, but I think who's gonna win? Dunkirk. Dunkirk's gonna win. Okay, now we're in the second row of three here. Costume design. I mean, Phantom Thread is gonna win. Or it should. I mean, because the movie is basically all about clothing and putting together dresses, so it has to be pristine and really detailed. So, I mean, it's probably gonna go to Phantom Thread, and it probably should. Now this is really interesting. In the directing category, you have all people who have certainly never won before, and I think probably all have never even been nominated before. So check this out. Christopher Nolan, never been nominated, Dunkirk. Jordan Peele, of course, that was his first movie. Very auspicious, very impressive for a first movie outing. Greta Gerwig, good, a good outing, solid effort. Certainly, um, you know, this, if she wins, it'll be a victory for women or something. And, you know, that would be cool. Yeah. But we're looking for the best director here. So Paul Thomas Anderson, Phantom Thread, and Guillermo del Toro for Shape of Water. All of these people, except for Jordan Peele and Greta Gerwig, Nolan, Anderson, and Toro, I mean, now is as good a time as any to honor the effect that they've had on the filmmaking landscape in the last 20, 30 years. So, uh, that'll be very interesting seeing who wins that particular award. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, honest. I didn't really see any of these documentaries. I think Faces Places is gonna win just because I've seen that name the most times. And, uh, just based on the name alone, I really do not want Strong Island to win. Moving on, documentary short. Oh, I definitely didn't see that. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't see heroin. Uh, film editing, okay. I think Baby Driver's gonna win. You got Baby Driver, Dunkirk, Itania, Shape of Water, Three Billboards. <sighs> the editing was pretty good in Three Billboards, I gotta say. I think it's probably gonna go to Baby Driver, but I think the sort of understated editing in Three Billboards and the fact that certain shots go on for so long and stuff like that. I would give it to three billboards. Okay, foreign language film. This one is very, very certain for me. Now, I'm still catching up on some of these. Uh, I still really want to see A Fantastic Woman. I uh, still want to see Loveless. Uh, haven't heard of The Insult or On Body and Soul. But the fifth one in this category I did see in the theaters and liked it so much that I just bought a DVD copy of it. That would be The Square by way of Sweden. Guys, it's not a perfect movie. I would say it's maybe like an 8 out of 10 or something. There are certain things in there that uh, kept it from being truly outstanding. But, man, that was just... I really liked The Square. I really did. So um, I'm really rooting for that one. That's kind of possibly the only one that I have any real stakes in at this point. So I'm really rooting for The Square. I wanted to go to The Square. It's probably going to go to a fantastic one. Okay, makeup and hairstyling, <laughs> original score, <laughs> whatever, Star Wars, give me a fucking, original song, eh, Mudbound, uh, 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 Coco, greatest showman, why don't you give it to Sufjan Stevens' Mystery of Love from Call Me By Your Name, you know, that's who really deserves it. Or not, whatever. Production design, Beauty and the Beast, Blade Runner 2049, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Shape of Water. 
it's probably going to go... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that uh, Dunkirk is going to get a lot of acclaim. I feel like war movies almost always do very well. But, uh, you know, once again, as I said, I really liked the visuals in uh, Blade Runner 2049. So, of course, production design is very much a part of that. So, I hope that one will win. Uh, I didn't watch any of these shorts. I probably will, but I mean, you know, it's probably not even going to air. So, sound editing. That's probably going to go to Baby Driver. But you got Baby Driver, Blade Runner, Dunkirk, Shape of Water, Star Wars again. Eh. You know what? The sound editing was pretty good. The sound design, in fact, was pretty good in uh, Blade Runner. We're just scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point, folks. Sound mixing. It's literally all the same. Well, that really helps distinguish for people what the difference between editing and mixing is when you have all the same nominees. All right, visual effects. Blade Runner 2049. Mm, maybe Kong Skull Island. I just don't see the phrase ever happening. And the Oscar goes to Kong Skull Island. I just don't see it happening. Or Planet of the Apes. Guardians of the Galaxy. Give it to Blade Runner. Man, give it to Blade Runner. There was literally a scene where they recapture, what's her name? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Daryl Hannah, is that her name? From the original movie and put her in this new one and it looked, it was, I don't know how they did it. it was, uh, this is like really the cutting edge. This is the cutting edge, folks. Pretty soon we'll have dead celebrities um, hawking Products, which has already been done, but now will be really efficiently done. How long has this been going? 12 minutes. All right, we're about to wrap this up here. Bad, bad, bad. We got two more. Oh, uh, adapted screenplay. So if you'll notice, I wrote fuck you here because uh, Disaster Artist was nominated. Fuck you. Disaster Artist? Disaster Artist. Disaster Artist. All right, that was just... Ugh. Calling by your name, Disaster Artist, Logan, Molly's Game, Mudbound. You know, it would be interesting to see Molly's Game on there, actually. Um, but, I think Call Me By Your Name is probably going to win on that one. And finally, original screenplay. The Big Sick, Get Out, Lady Bird, Shape of Water, Three Billboards. My guess is that either Get Out or Lady Bird will snatch this one up. Uh, but... I don't know. I would maybe give it to The Big Sick. The Big Sick was uh, definitely a film I enjoyed from earlier this year. And uh, you know what? I think that's it, folks. I think that's my little Oscar prediction doodah here. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hope you'll join me for the follow-up video in which I go over the winners and uh, angrily rant against... A, the backdrop of an echoey room and a dirty wall. Thank you very much. Stay sexy. <sighs>